that the Japanese understand, I think, as well or better than any country. The economic announcements emanating in recent weeks have been sobering. Everyone is vulnerable during times of uncertainty, but especially the poor who have few, if any, safety nets and resources and live from day to day. Our job at the World Bank Group now is to make sure the growth over the last five years that we've seen in developing countries in Africa and Latin America and Asia is not destroyed by further worsening in this situation. Every single economy in the world has to now be focused on the medium and long-term prospects for growth. Um, because of the crisis, I think there is a tendency to only look at the short term, you know, how to respond to the crisis that, as it might hit us. But I think um, evidence is very good uh, that the countries that thought, start thinking right now about medium and long-term competitiveness are going to do much better. Uh, we have a team in Myanmar right now, and we're working with the government to, to really uh, catalog uh, the arrears uh, that uh, ha have accumulated over the years. And our hope uh, is that um, we can move forward very soon as a, as a united global community uh, to support the reforms and uh, to help uh, the, the people of Myanmar with things like health, education, infrastructure, uh, and also to help uh, Myanmar boost its private sector. Uh, so that uh, more businesses uh, uh, can grow in that environment. It's a great way to drive a conversation. I think our task is to find ways of uh, uh, encouraging uh, ever greater efforts at both mitigation and uh, adaptation to climate change. But mitigation is really critical. Uh, can we find ways of, um, uh, of creating an enormous market for new technologies uh, and, um, focused on mitigation of climate change. I think we simply must do it. So you're going to be hearing from me over the next uh, six months uh, and over the, the, over the entire term of my presidency, you're going to hear me talking a lot about climate change. Now, um, it's not, um, uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to just give you the doomsday picture. I think there are tremendously exciting possibilities of what it would look like to live in a very low carbon world. And we simply have to find those opportunities, and we have to encourage the best and brightest companies and countries to seize that opportunity and, seize their, and, and understand that their path to economic growth uh, could very well be uh, engaging in um, uh, finding new technologies and new approaches.